Is there someone knocking on the door? Welcome to Old Town San Diego. Old Town San Diego is considered by many to be the birthplace of California. With lots of history, residents of San Diego and people from around the world come and visit the culture that still exists here. With so much history surrounding this town, I was drawn to what was considered a mansion of its time, the Whaley House. Just down the street from the Whaley House lies El Campo Santo Cemetery. It may not be a big cemetery, but unfortunately, there are many unmarked graves that even extend onto the sidewalk. Buried here is James Robinson, also known as Yankee Jim was convicted of attempted theft of a boat which he was sentenced to death by hanging. According to newspaper during the time, he kept his feet in the wagon as long as possible, but was finally pulled off. He swung back and forth until he strangled to death. What is important about this is a guy by the name of Thomas Whaley witnessed the hanging and years following built his mansion on the same land where the hanging took place. Sometime later, Thomas reported heavy phantom footsteps in the house and assumed it to be Yankee Jim. Many believe he is still there today. Ironically, some have even seen Thomas and his wife Anna still walking around in the house. Thomas was known as a successful businessman. He and his wife Anna Whaley had six children total. One of his sons, Thomas, had died at just 18 months in the house due to scarlet fever. Today, people hear the cries of a baby, and some speculate it is baby Thomas. Thomas and Anna also had three girls. When they were older, Violet and her sister Anna both married at the same time in the house. Violet was later on divorce, which had sent her into a spiral of depression. This is important because she had attempted suicide once before by trying to throw herself down the cistern that was located in the backyard. However, she had failed at her attempt and later on had got a hold of Thomas's gun and shot herself in the outhouse. Her father Thomas had picked her up and brought her into the house where she eventually died. Today, many believe Violet still resides in the Whaley House. With so much history, death and negativity taking place on the land and in the house, it is as if the Whaley House is a magnet for paranormal activity. As light turns into darkness, the town quiets down, and with 30 or so spirits claim to haunt the location, it is time to see if some paranormal activity resides in the Before we begin our investigation, we start up by setting up two stationary cameras. We set up camera two upstairs in an attempt to catch the claimed apparition of Thomas Whaley. Three minutes into the video, we catch what sounds like a baby coon. Thomas Whaley still here? As we begin our investigation in the main hallway with an EVP session, 
I noticed how much sound contamination can be picked up in the house due to the busy area. It is important to take this into consideration before concluding any event paranormal. It's weird, I'm getting like some weird interference on that. I'm trying to move to see if it stops. I tested this out like three days ago, I'm not doing this. Check this out and see if this is what's doing it. It's probably the microphone. Stop. Is there anybody in here with us tonight? We're here to just to talk to you. Can you make a sound for us? Say something? Yankee Jim, are you upset about your death? Do you think it was deserved? I'm going to move out of the way so you can come and interact with this. With nothing setting off the red pod, I decided to put it in the general store while we continue to investigate in the courtroom. This corner is claimed to be Yankee Jim's favorite spot. All right, if there are any spirits that are listening to what I'm saying, please come in here. Yankee Jim, if you're in here, just come near this device and make it go off. Just like that. With nothing out of the ordinary happening, we decided to make our way up to the theater. The theater first opened in 1868 when Thomas Whaley rented it out to Thomas Tanner, who was the leader of the Tanner Troop. Soon after opening, Tanner had mysteriously died one day after a performance. Tanner is said to still haunt here.
With so much noise, it sounds like footsteps coming from outside the theater. We decide to investigate more. At this time, I decided to change out my battery on the camera. I also take time to place my other stationary camera in the general store that was first placed in the courtroom. I changed the position of the camera because the closest outlet to charge the stationary camera was in this room. While I take time to do this, the events that you are about to see were unexpected. Zebra. In the hallway upstairs, please move towards the device and turn it on for us, please. Anna, if that's you up there, please turn on that device. It was as if a surge of energy just went through the house. Yeah, but this is what I heard. Yeah, that's the song. The stationary camera's audio is not very good, and for it to pick up a sigh and not the clinking of items heard before I had asked, is someone walking up the stairs, makes me think we had captured some sort of voice phenomena. If that's you guys, continue to do that. The courtroom door, although strange, makes me more skeptical. It was not recorded, but the docent and I made our way into the courtroom to see if anyone was on the porch trying to get in. Even though we did not see anyone, unfortunately, people are still able to make their way onto the porch at any time. There's something back here too. The unexplained chains were also heard by me as I stood in the courtroom. It sounded like it was coming from the back of the house somewhere. I'm not aware of any big chains in or around the house, so this will have to be investigated more in the future, and is at this moment unexplained.
With there seeming to be a lot of activity, I decided to pull out my K2 meter to see how much EMF was coming from inside the house. Although there may not be a lot of wattage in the house, the K2 meter did spike in some areas, which indicates it was picking up on something. No spikes on the millimeter. It is only rational to say this does not prove the presence of something paranormal. Can you at least tell me your name, please? I want to get to know you a little bit. We make our way into the master bedroom where Thomas and Anna had slept. As we do an EVP session and listen, nothing out of the well, ordinary the had happened. Center. As we did our walkthrough before the investigation, we did recognize a depression on the bed. Some may attribute this to paranormal activity, however, without knowing if an employee had made the bed recently or been in the room, it is better to assume is this is not paranormal. Lay in this bed here? If you're happy, we'll be leaving soon. Can you walk past that light for me to let me know that? Is someone knocking on the door? Yeah, there's people outside there. Regretting to instantly run and see if anyone was rattling the courtroom doors from earlier, I ran down the stairs to see if anyone or anything was interfering with our investigation. As you can see, people can make their way onto the porch at any time of the night. Besides it being disrespectful by trying to interfere on purpose yeah, or trying to get here. in, this can also ruin the chances of catching any paranormal activity due to contamination. I will need to take other steps in order to battle this issue. It's instead. hard to tell of who, who would come up here this late, no? As our investigation comes to a close, I can understand why a place like this could have so much reported paranormal activity. Being an investigator, it would be crazy for me not to return here in the future to gather more data that could prove to the world that the supernatural exists at the Whaley House.